this is Jacqueline. I'm back with my next video. So normally I am here to keep you up to date with all of my treatment options and of course giving you information regarding long COVID. But today I am going to do something different. Today is about reflections. Today would have been my mother's 73rd birthday and tomorrow will mark 21 years of her passing. This has given me some time to reflect on some lessons and some takeaways that I think would be beneficial for all of us. So first of all, my mother was misdiagnosed three times. My mother was scratched by a cat and she has some scratch marks up here on her chest and it was red and it was swollen. And she was first diagnosed with cat scratch fever. She was put on antibiotics and just was waiting to see kind of what was happening. And as time went on, she wasn't really getting better and, and her breasts kind of started to swell up and get red and hard. And it just seemed like there was something else going on. So she went for a second opinion, was basically told the same thing. It looks like this cat scratch fever, continue to take the antibiotics. I even believe at one point she was taking antibiotics intravenously. Then she went to another doctor, uh, kind of the same thing, sort of blown off, sort of gaslit that you're fine, everything's okay, nothing to worry about. Well, finally it got to the point where instinctually she knew that something wasn't quite right. So at that point, she ended up going to the Cleveland Clinic, which was about two and a half hours from our home. And that is where she was finally diagnosed with having breast cancer. So I bring this up because breast cancer, of course, is not something new. It wasn't something people weren't familiar with, but she still went through three misdiagnoses before she was told that she had cancer. She was diagnosed with inflammatory breast cancer, which is an aggressive form of cancer. So by this time, about four months had passed between her first symptom and actually getting the proper diagnosis. A few reasons of why I wanted to share this story. Number one is I know that a lot of long haulers feel gaslit. They feel like they go to their doctor, they tell them what's going on, and they're just blown off. They're told they have anxiety and depression and, and they're not really taken seriously. And I think it's very, very important that we are advocates for ourselves. You have to keep searching for people that believe you and that people that are going to help you. And just because someone gaslights you, it doesn't mean you stop there. You have to keep searching for the people that are gonna be on your team and support you through this process. I personally was working with a naturopath for quite a while and, and I really like him. He helped me in a lot of ways after my vaccine injury. I took a lot of supplements and I do believe the stuff that we did did help me. But we kind of got to this point where I felt that things were a bit stagnant. I felt like, you know, it was just kind of like the same thing. I really didn't feel like we were progressing. So recently I went and saw a new naturopathic doctor. And I actually feel like having just a new perspective, a new set of eyes look at my history, my symptoms and what's going on has been really beneficial for me. And she started me on a new protocol and I really feel confident and hopeful about her protocol. And even though at the end of the day, I don't believe any of this is a cure for long COVID, these are things that I do believe will put my body in a better place to heal. So I really just wanted to share this story today because I believe it's very important that we advocate for ourselves. We know our bodies better than anybody. So if you don't feel like something is right, if you feel like you're being told something or you're being blown off and it doesn't sit with you, instinctually you know that something isn't quite right, please keep searching for answers. Secondly, keep building a team. Build a team of people that you trust and that you can go to and that you can work with. And I think it's important when I say team is to have multiple people that you are working with. There are things that I go to my PCP for, there are things that I go to my original naturopathic doctor for, there are things that I go to my new naturopathic doctor for, there are things that I have went to as far as MABS and sharing with that doctor. Now I do keep the latest person informed on everything I am taking to make sure that there's no contraindications of anything, but I feel like it's just important to come back and see things through a different perspective. I wanted to share the story of my mother. Today I am honoring her. I'm honoring her journey. My mother suffered greatly for two years. Her battle lasted almost exactly two years to the day and she got up and she fought 
every single day. I never saw her cry. I never saw her break down. All I ever did was see her fight. I just hope and pray that I have the same strength that she did to make it through the other side of this. And I hope that when my children see me, that they will see someone that represents strength and hope because that is what I saw in my mother. So today I want to honor her, Mary Jane Rita. It would be your 73rd birthday. Happy birthday in heaven. We love you. And for everyone else, please be well. Please keep fighting. Please keep advocating for yourself. And until next time. We love you, Grandma Jane. We're sad that we never got to meet.